Hello ladies and gentlemen, Devin from Decon here, and this is the new Dell Inspiron all-in-one PC for 2018. This is the model 7777 and is a successor to the ultra-powerful 7775 model from last year. Alright, let's pop the top and see what's inside. Looks like we have the PC itself and two accessory boxes as well. Let's see what's in this box here. Looks to be our power cord and power brick. The power adapter is a 180 watt power adapter. It's much smaller this time around. Also in this compartment is the documents which sadly arrived crumpled up. Pretty standard fare here, just a quick start guide and some warranty information. With that compartment empty, let's check the other one out. This looks to be the keyboard and mouse. They're both wireless, and a close-up on the mouse shows it's constructed from a black plastic. On top, it has your basic left and right buttons, as well as a scroll wheel. Nothing special on the bottom either, as it just has some branding and an on-off switch. To power the mouse, it takes one AAA battery. The keyboard is also black and constructed from plastic, and it's a full-size keyboard, and it has a number pad as well. The keys look to have nice travel, and around the sides, there's no switches or USB ports. Around back, we can see the on-off switch, as well as the cover for the battery compartment. To power the keyboard, it takes two AAA batteries. Okay, let's quickly fast forward through this part. It took me a good few minutes to actually unpack the Inspiron, as it was tightly packed and I didn't want to damage it. I also had a hard time finding the stand, but here it is. The stand, like other Dell monitors, is easy to assemble, as it only takes one screw. Okay, let's screw this in, and yes, completely assembled. Okay, let's get the Inspiron stood up, and let's get it naked. With the protective cover removed, we can see the Inspiron's body is roughly unchanged as it is compact, constructed from plastic, and comes in a space gray. The stand is still a pedestal stand as well. This time around, our ports are aligned in a row just in front of the stand, rather than adjacent the stand. Along the right edge we have nothing special, and along the front we have some light branding on the grill. We also have to change the power button location as it is located on the grill itself rather than along the underside. Still along the underside, however, is our button for selecting the HDMI input. Also, adjacent to Dell branding, we still have our front firing speakers, and of course we have our lovely Infinity Edge display. Along the right side we have a few more ports along the bottom edge. First we have an SD card slot then a USB Type-C port, and below that we have a regular USB Type-A port, and just off to the side we have a headphone jack. Along the top edge we have a web camera which is hidden in an enclosure within the PC itself, and it looks great as it slides effortlessly. Well, that's gonna wrap up this unboxing. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please send me your likes. If you enjoy my content, send me your subs. And as always, thank you for stopping by. I'll see you next time.